Decorative trim between wall and the ceiling for any kind of house room. Trim size can be choose and custom made to fit any look in any size of room. By changing material size and space width between board, trim look can be changed for the need. Decorative trim includes MDF primed board 3 quarters by 3 and 1 half of inch. MDF primed board 3 quarters by 1 and 1 half of inch. Crown molding 3 and 5 eighths of inch. Gaffers tape, black. MDF board on the inner narrow space between two boards should be painted before installation. In this example the crown molding is installed 1 and 1 half of inch from space edge of the upper board. Space between narrow niche and crown molding can be adjusted by moving up or down upper board or by replacing upper board with different size. To install crown molding evenly from the edge of the board, handmade spacer can be used. Handmade spacer Distance between edge of the upper trim board and crown molding. Narrow niche in this example is one quarter of inch. Spacers must be used to have this narrow space even. Procedure of trim installation by one person for above listed material. Measure 5 and 7 eighths of inch distance from the ceiling on both sides of the wall near corner, drive the sheetrock screws. Attach string line to it and make the line. Make sure that the distance from the window and door trim is the same so the installed trim will look level. If the trim is continued to other wall, measure distance on the farther side of the wall and match string line to already installed trim on adjacent wall.
Add more sheetrock screws for support the trim temporary board. Same size as the bottom board for trim 1 and 1 half of inch, which will be supporting the main trim board during installation. Stick the black tape to the wall 1 8 of inch higher than the marked line. Install temporary trim board. Screw temporary board to the wall if needed. Measure and cut main trim board 90 degree angle on both ends. Set main trim board onto temporary board and using 2 inches 16 gauge trim nails install main trim board to the wall. Remove temporary board and screws supporting it.
Using spacer or tape measure mark the bottom of crown molding. Measure and cut crown molding. Cut crown molding in proper angle. Using 1 and 1 half of inch 18 gauge staples install crown molding, in this example 1 and 1 half of inch from edge of main trim board. Also using 2 inches 16 gauge staples attach crown molding to the ceiling joists. If there is no any wood behind ceiling sheetrock you can staple crown molding on its flat surface to the main board using 2 inches 16 gauge staples. Measure and cut bottom trim board at 90 degree angle on both ends. Clean black tape from the dust. Using spacers and 2 inches 16 gauge staples install bottom board of the trim.
Install trim on the last wall. Match height of the trim on the last wall to existing trims, already installed.
After installation fill all nail holes and all other spaces which need to be filled. Sand it and paint it. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.